Hello, and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're just going to do a quick follow-up to the video I did a couple weeks ago on the Panasonic SuperDisc 240. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link in the description below. I recommend you watch that first and then come back to this one. So one of my viewers left a comment wondering if the PC-98 floppies would work in this drive. I had no idea what those were. I had to look it up. And it was a format that was only used in Japan among their various computers, like the NEC PC-98, FM Towns, and the Sharp X68000 computer line. And it uses a regular high-density floppy disk, but it formats them at 1.2 megabytes, 77 tracks instead of 80, and most importantly, has a rotation speed of 360 RPM instead of the normal 300. I did some more research and I found a Linux tool that will format these disks even with a USB drive. So I got my regular USB drive out and I hooked it up to a Linux I have in a VM and ran this tool on it and it worked. And right away I could hear a big difference. In the last video I talked about the subtle difference when you format a single-sided floppy versus a double-sided floppy. Not so subtle here, it's very striking. So I'm just going to show you a little A-B clip back and forth between the normal 1.44 megabyte and this Japanese 1.2 megabyte format, and you should be able to hear the sound difference. Let's take a listen. Okay, so let's put in a 1.2 megabyte Japanese formatted floppy disk and see if it works in the SuperDisk 240. Hey, there it is. Wow, so just like a single-sided 360 kilobyte disk, uh, this format is completely undocumented anywhere in the manual for this drive, but it just works. The next format we're going to talk about is Microsoft's distribution media format. These floppy disks hold 1.68 megabytes and were used by Microsoft on their software products like Windows and Office installers to cut down on the number of floppy disks needed to complete the installation. So I found out I could make these disks with the N format program I mentioned in the last video, as well as you can just download one of these installer disks and image it over to your floppy as well. Unfortunately, I found out that in both my regular USB floppy drive and the SuperDisk 240, it doesn't quite work right. The disk will mount, but anytime you try to copy something larger than 1.44 megabytes to it, it errors. Likewise, if you image an installer disk and it's got like a big 1.6 megabyte CAD file on it, and you try to copy that CAD file off, it will eventually error before it completes. So unfortunately, the distribution media format floppies do not work in the SuperDisk 240. Okay, so the last format we're going to talk about is the 2.88 megabyte extended density format floppy disk. This was used in some high-end IBM workstations, Next computers, and I think some other Unix workstations as well. It never caught on, it was expensive, and it didn't really give you much more storage space. Let's take a look at this disk here and compare it to a regular high-density disk. And you'll notice that the notch that tells the drive it's high density is in a different spot on the extended density. That's so that the extended density drive disks knew that this was a 2.88 megabyte disk and not a regular 1.4. Now, what I've read is that if your drive doesn't support extended density disks, and almost none of them do, then it will just see it as an old double-sided, double-density disk because it won't, uh, the, the hole punch here won't get triggered because it's so much lower. And you can just format it as a regular 720K disk. So all of that extra media and higher quality media in there is wasted, but it will otherwise work as a 720K disk. And that is exactly what happened in both my USB drive and the SuperDisk 240. I was able to format it only as a um, double density disk. To add insult entry, I could actually format it with N format into a single-sided 
360 kilobyte disk completely negating all of the extra space in this but unfortunately it didn't work so for today we're one for three but we still found an undocumented format that works and i think that's pretty cool so to sum it up the superdrive 240 can use the following disks 240 megabyte 120 megabyte 32 megabyte 1.4 megabyte 1.2 megabyte 720k double-sided double density and 360k single-sided double density so that's all for now as always please like and subscribe i'll be back soon take care